Now we we'll start in the plains. In the plains, the climate is warm in summers and cold in winters. Plants like pepper, ashoka, neem are adapted to survive there in the following ways. Number one, the trees have many branches with big and broad leaves. Underline. The large surface of the leaves helps to cool the plant by the process of transpiration. Underline process of transpiration. Trees shed their leaves in winters to protect themselves from the extreme cold. Such trees are called deciduous trees. Underline. They shed their leaves in winters to protect themselves from the extreme cold. Underline. For example, pepper, banyan, mango, neem tree. Revise for two minutes. Next. In marshy places. Underline in marshy places. In marshy areas, the soil is sticky and clay. Water cannot drain away. Hence, it collapses in the soil. Trees that grow in marshy areas are called mangroves. What are mangroves? Trees that grow in marshy areas. Trees that grow in marshy areas are called mangroves. Underline. The roots grow above the soil as they do not get air in the waterlogged soil. Such roots are called breathing roots. Underline. The roots grow above the soil as they do not get air in the waterlogged soil. Such roots are called breathing roots. For example, Karyo and Candelia. Karyo and Candelia are examples of plants that grow in marshy areas. Tell me two plants that grow in marshy areas. Karyop and Candelia. Next, in hot and damp areas. Underline. Plants like tea, rubber, coconut, tamarind, tea, coffee and pepper grow in hot and damp areas. Underline. The plants here are evergreen. They are evergreen plants. They do not shed their leaves in winters. Underline, for example, coconut, tea, rubber, pepper. Revise for two minutes, students. Discuss with your partner. Afterwards, we will start aquatic plants. Underline aquatic plants. Aquatic plants are plants that grow in water. Aquatic plants are plants that grow in water. Underline. You must have seen some aquatic plants float on water while some are completely under water. Aquatic plants are of three types. Number one, floating plants. These are plants like duckweed water lettuce and water hyacinth. Duckweed, water lettuce and water hyacinth that float on the surface of the water because they are either light or small in size. Underline duckweed, water lettuce and water hyacinth. These plants are not fixed to the soil in the water bed. Underline. Next. They have spongy bodies. With lots of empty spaces filled with air. Underline. Water hyacinth, duckweed, water lettuce. Revise for two minutes. Number two, fixed plants. Underline. These are plants like lotus or water lily. They are fixed plants. 
these are plants like lotus or water lily that are rooted to the water bed of the pond lotus lily the leaves are broad plate like and float over the surface of water the leaves have a waxy coating that prevents water from collecting on them thus preventing them from rotting number 2 stomata is present on the upper surface of the leaf stomata is present on the upper surface of leaf to help in the exchange of gases you know the exchange of gases through the stomata the stems are hollow and light that enable the leaves to float underline the stems are hollow and light the leaves are broad underline broad which become a resting place for the tiny bugs number 3 underwater or submerged plants underline underwater or submerged plants these are plants like hydra and tape grass that remain under water tell me two plants that remain under water hydra and tape grass number 2 their roots fix them in the muddy soil their roots are fix them in the muddy soil the leaves are narrow and thin with no stomata underline exchange of gases take place throughout the body surface the stems are flexible underline these plants clean the water by removing carbon dioxide breathing out by aquatic animals underline they use carbon dioxide dissolved in water for photosynthesis underline and release oxygen into the water which aquatic animals use understood there are three types of aquatic plants floating fish underwater submerged plants okay dear students now finish our chapter revise for 5 minutes i'll ask some general questions